Hi everybody, welcome back. Happy fall to you. I am very excited because today I'm gonna to be talking to you about my fall beauty favorites. It's technically a monthly beauty favorites and I also technically just skipped right on over August favorites because you know what? We have consistent favorites here on this channel. There are many products that I just use and love continuously. Every once in a while we get fabulous new shining bright stars in the beauty and skincare and body hair routines, but most of the time we, we just got the same thing going over and over again, but we're bringing out some fall beauty favorites today, okay? So I'm gonna do a roundup, some of the things that I've used up, some new in skincare products, new and old beauty favorites, and just talking about all things beauty tank today. Let's jump into the favorites, shall we? I'm gonna start with fragrance because, you know, I've already talked about this, I've shown it in the vlogs a billion times, but the Aurabella Salted Muse, oh my, I've officially reached my last spritzes of this bottle, and this is actually the bottle that I brought with me on my trip because I was like, oh, I'm about to use this up. I might as well bring it. So this is what I packed. I don't usually pack an entire bottle, like a giant bottle like this. Oh, but she is worth it. So good. It is divine. I did pick up a backup of this when I was in the USA and hydrating, alcohol free, elevated with essential oils. Okay. Someone asked me if it stains my clothing. It does not. So that's great. I love this scent. I know a lot of us share scent favorites, so anytime I do have a favorite, I always feel like it's my duty to tell you if I have a new one. So that's not new. It is in fact an empty, but I'm telling you that I repurchased it immediately. <laughs> For some little skincare updates, obviously one of my most repurchased products on planet Earth is the Caudalie Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. Here is the Giant Beautiful Empty. Anytime I am nearing the bottom of this, I go out and instantly repurchase it. There are so many cleansing oils and cleansing balms that exist on the planet. I, I've tried a few others every once in a while. I'll dibble and dabble. I always come back to this. It's completely non-irritating for all parts of my face. It doesn't make my eyes itch. Sometimes they can just burn your eyes. This product has never led me astray. I love it so much and I will repurchase it until the end of time. So that's an empty. Repurchase it immediately. I feel like every time I filmed a monthly favorites over the last little while, it's always the same skincare empties. I don't have my Biosance Overnight Repair empty because I did use that up while I was traveling. I packed the big gold bottle tub while I was away. And I also used up another Tatcha Overnight Repair. I have a backup of the Biosance and I did repurchase the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair. I just did a little Sephora order. It just came in. My Caudalie Cleansing Oil, this. I bought a few new makeup bits to try out, but wanted to let you know that I am never without all of my favorite high hydrated goodness. And this costs a pretty penny. There was a time where I was hemming and hawing over whether or not I should repurchase it, but I just love to have this on hand and my skin always feels so much better for it. I also used up the Dew Instant Angel Lipid Rich Facial Moisturizer. Oh, this is so good. This is the second bottle I have used up of this. I have squeezed every little morsel out of this. I love it so much. It's a beautiful, beautiful moisturizer. And when I used this up, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go flip through some of the moisturizers that I have on hand. And La Roche-Posay has sent me their face creams a million times over. And I use and love the SPF so much, but I don't know why I never really dabbled with the face creams. I love the body lotion, the sunscreen, what have you. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try the La Roche-Posay face cream. So I pulled these two out and I've only done this for the last week. So this is new to me, but I just wanted to say, oh my word, the combination of these two creams. First of all, this Tolerain, the daily repair moisturizer. It's a little bottle. I, I wouldn't have even considered that that was a full size product, but do love the minimal small packaging. This is gorgeous on the face. I was shocked and floored. But the first time I put this on, I went downstairs and Dan was like, wow, baby, you look so hydrated. And I was like, <laughs> It literally puts a glow on your face and the moisture stays. Like my skin is so, so terribly dry and especially going into colder weather, we have the fire on, we have the heat bumping, it is cold. For my dry skin people out there, this is so beautiful and I am shook and mortified that I've never tried it before because it has been right in front of my face all this time. What a beautiful moisturizer, especially if you're like me and you've kind of recently given up primers and you're just focusing on your skincare. What a gorgeous, gorgeous face cream. And I wanted to say that I put that all over my face and then right around my smile lines here on my mouth, I tend to get really like sore dry, like so, so dry that it kind of stays red and sometimes will have a little burning effect. And especially when my skin is extra irritated when I've been traveling a lot, I just felt inspired to put this little sick I don't know how to pronounce that properly, but the ultra repairing soothing balm. 
I was just playing with a few of the products and I put this on my hands and I was like, wow, this is so thick and beautiful. When I was rubbing it out onto my fingers, it's got such a thick, like lasting feeling and also looks wet. Like it gives such a dewy, sticky finish to the skin. And I just took a bit of that and I patted it right around my mouth and the combination of the two, wow, I basically just said goodbye to dry skin because never has my skin felt so, so hydrated <laughs> and the dew, the beautiful juicy finish that it left on the skin stayed. Oh my, how beautiful. Um, that is my face cream update for you. Those are the two that I've been using. And I'm so sorry to everybody who's been screaming at me to use the La Roche-Posay face products for so long. I don't know why I just never clued into it. Um, now I have thank you and my skin also thanks you. Now, speaking of skincare and speaking of travel, I just wanted to say, uh, this is something that I haven't had in my collection for so long. It's because I used to buy this at the Caudalie Hazelton Spa in Toronto. They stopped selling it there and I haven't been able to find it in Canada since. Didn't realize that all this time I've been working with Cult Beauty, I never noticed that they had the travel size, sorry, I should have mentioned this before, but the travel size of the cleansing oil. I normally always just travel with the big bottle. I officially have the travel size bottle back in my life, which is very exciting. I also, from Cult Beauty, picked up the travel size of my Glow Recipe Avocado Moisture Barrier Cleanser. So here's my little, my little minis, and these are new in. Brought them on my last trip, and I always love to keep my travel size products stocked. A final skincare empty for you is my Christian Dior, my very bougie Christian Dior hand balm. Here's a little empty. Let me tell you the strength that it took for me to squeeze out the last dribbles and droplets of this, but it's so cute. I love having this hand cream with me, pulling it out of my purse, pulling it out on the airplane. I'm always like, oh, it's just, it looks divine. It looks very bougie and extra special, but the hand cream is also so gorgeous. My entire body is always dry, so I'm always rubbing creams, lotions, and potions all over me, and this is beautiful, and I do have a backup, and it's already in my purse. Now for some makeup favorites, my darlings. Oh baby, the Sephora Reveal the Real Skin Tint, the Sephora Collection Skin Tint. It's pretty much been the only thing that I've been pouring all over my face. I did recently pick up the lightest shade, 100 and It's been the shade that I have been wearing while I am basking in my pale natural self. And this is beautiful, completely undetectable on the skin, lasts so, so well. It's got a little bit of coverage, slightly more coverage than the Lisa Eldridge Skin Tint. Both very natural, beautiful finishes. I just I just love this one and for the price in comparison to like a lot of drugstore prices that we're seeing in Canada specifically. It's an amazing product and I've been loving it so, so very much. Wearing it every day, it's so good. Following the Givenchy debacle and how they discontinued our beloved Prism Lieb powder, I was very happy to report that the Makeup by Mario powder. This is the Surreal Skin Soft Blur Setting Powder. I have this in the shade one, fair pink. It is beautiful. It's a big powder, just like the Givenchy one is, and I, I traveled with it. I brought it with me on my trip because it's that good. I don't mind sacrificing the space for it. I will say that from the travel, all of the powder has come into the top, which is why I'm just very lightly, loosely opening that up for you. Oh, this is what we can have nice. Thanks. You get the gist. It's great. It is a beautiful alternative for those of us who have loved the Givenchy powder so much. It has such a beautiful blurring effect on the skin. I did do a little wear test in a makeup video that I posted a few weeks ago. So if you wanted to check that out, you can check it out. But the powder is beautiful and it has been the powder that I have been using on the daily. I have been trying a few different powders, a few different pressed powders as well, but this has been the main one in my rotation since the first time I tried it. So it is good. It travels with me and is a beautiful powder. Let's talk about some of the fall colors, shall we? Some of the fall things that I love to pull out. I did do a fall switch up in my entire like beauty and clothing life. If you missed that video, I will link it here for your viewing pleasure. But every single year, no matter what, <laughs> when fall comes around, I always pull out the Charlotte Tilbury Color of Passions Hello Talk Lip and Cheat Glow. There are a few new shades of this that exist now, but the OG Color of Passions is my favorite. It is so so beautiful. Beautiful on both the lips and the cheeks. It's that perfect berry color. It is so glowy and divine. I can't get enough of this. It's one of my favorite colors of all time. This used to be a limited edition product and I couldn't believe it. I was so happy that they brought this out as a permanent product. It's The packaging is such a delight to use. Every time I'm out and about and I pull this out to touch up my lips, I'm like, oh, this is so nice. The color never leads me astray. It's perfect on the lips and the cheeks. It's so, so good. Another always favorite 
favorite is the Victoria Beckham Bizu Bitten Lip Tint. Now, I've had a few different shades of these and I've recently decided that Bizu is my favorite. I'll just give it a little swatch next to the Charlotte Tilbury one because you can see that the undertones are quite different. The Charlotte Tilbury Color of Passions is much more on the warm side, whereas this is on that very true, like cool toned blackberry side. So here's the Charlotte Tilbury, here's the Bizu. So I find that depending on the shades that I'm wearing in my clothing or what I'm feeling or how much bronzer I'm wearing on that day will kind of determine which side to go on. Am I going warmer or am I going cooler? So in case you're wondering how my brain works when I'm doing my makeup, that's what I'm thinking of. So kind of depends on the day, but both of them fill the same fall inspired makeup shade void for me. And I always love a good lip stain because it just lasts so long on the lips. This is so beautiful and it's just such beautiful packaging too. It's such a joy to apply and the little applicator is a nice pointed tip. So sometimes if I don't even feel like wearing lip liner, I can still put this on and very precisely map out my lips, which I love so much. So old favorite, never ceases to amaze me. I love this lip stain so, so much. And then a few new in shades in the fall makeup category. Uh, this is the Biosance Pro Peptide Lip Perfector. This is in the shade Supernova. If I'm wanting just a super easy hydrated lip, this is such a beautiful option. I always love a tinted lip balm because I feel like I'm getting the hydration that I require as well as a beautiful little wash of color. And I love it when skincare companies do makeup products because I feel like I'm getting all the benefits, the hydrating benefits from the skincare on top of the makeup joy that we're getting. So I'm just putting the Supernova onto the swatch so you can see how they're all so wildly different and that's why we need them all. <laughs> but here's Supernova, which is it's just kind of like a brighter, truer purple in comparison to the other two. So these are just kind of all on rotation depending on what I'm feeling that day, but this was beautiful and new in. And then also the Summer Fridays Rosewood Nights Lip Oil. Ooh, this is a pretty one, okay? Lovely little packaging, love a lip oil. I'm gonna swatch this one as well. This one's almost exactly the same as the Bizu Bitten Lip Tint. Hopefully you guys can see the Bitten Lip Tint versus the Rosewood Nights. So I do love to layer this on top of Bizu. I can either go for that true matte stain or if I wanna add a juicy little pop, I can put this on top and the two complement each other obviously so beautifully, or I just wear this one on its own. The one thing I will say, even though it is a lip oil, I find it doesn't add that same lasting hydration to my lips. So when I am wearing this, I just find myself constantly reapplying it. Whereas some of my other lip balms and even some of my other lip oils are a lot more hydrating. I don't know what it is about this, but I do love the color, which is why I don't mind. And I'll keep wearing it and I'll keep reapplying. It is beautiful. And then just a quick little lip liner mention. I wanted to give a shout out to the new Dior 303 Grage Attitude Lip Liner because I actually just used this in my everyday fall makeup. This was new in when I got home from my trip. I did a little PR haul and this was waiting for me. So thank you so much, Dior. But I wanted to mention it because it is that perfect, beautiful, cool toned lip liner, but it's not so ashy that it makes your lips look a little gray. Like the Makeup Forever Endless Cacao is like very, very gray. This one has a little extra tinge of warmth, which I think is such a pretty option for those of you who love the cool tones, but like not completely on the gray side. This is a gorgeous option. And I also have really been sleeping on the Dior lip liners and they're a product that I've never really reached for or thought about in the past, but was very happy to use this. And a few of you had suggested this to me. So thank you so much for that. She is beautiful and it's going to be a favorite going into this fall and winter. And I wanted to actually mention that I have ordered so many different lip liners that I want to go through and test because in the absence of the true NYX nude beige, I still have yet to find the one to be the replacement. Placement. And so I just wanted to order a bunch that you guys have recommended. So many of you have been sending me messages, sending me other people's videos on Instagram and TikTok, showing me so many options. And I just went through and ordered a ton. So over the next like week or so, hopefully, I paid express shipping on all of them. So I hope they get here quick, okay? But I'm just gonna do a big swatch fest of all of these lip liners and try to find the one that is going to rule them all for fall and winter. So just to let you know, we are working behind the scenes. We are working on it, okay? We are looking for the perfect lip liner and I will absolutely be keeping you posted. So watch this space, plenty of lip liners to come. We will find the one, I hope. <laughs> and with that, my friends, those are all of my fall beauty favorites. Those are a few of the things that I have been loving, a few products that I've used up and a few new in bits that I have added for the season. And I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Please let me know all of the products that you are currently loving for the new season. Are there any products that you're switching up for the fall and winter? Please do let me know. And if there are any other products that you want me to try, anything that needs to be on my radar, hit a girl up. I'm always here and creeping and ready to see what's new in the zoo. So thank you so much as always for being here, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this 
this video and I will see you all very soon for a new one. Thanks for watching. Bye!